Hello, this is Mayor Bob Burns, Mayor of the City of Marshall. I'm here with uh, Dr. Steve Meister, who is uh, Chief Medical Officer at Vera Marshall, also a Marshall City Council member. We will be doing an update on the current uh, situation related to the pandemic, the COVID-19 situation. As I think everybody knows, uh, uh, the situation is becoming uh, more serious within the community, within the region, within the state, and Dr. Meister will give a, a bit of details on that. As I think everyone knows, we still are operating in the uh, um, emergency operations that we have been in since uh, last March. The, uh, it, this week we are gonna be implementing and next week some additional measures. Uh, all of these measures internally within the city are, are designed to continue um, essential operations. So we have a continuity of services for the things that people expect, whether it's snow plowing or wastewater system working or public safety or all of the city operations. So we're making some changes to some of our staffing. We are all also will be asking that our city offices, which are located temporarily at SMSU, that if you have business to take care of, do call ahead, make an appointment. Uh, and many of our, our business operations can be conducted by, by phone. So we will be limiting the uh, uh, walk-in uh, to the offices. We would really like uh, appointments and uh, individuals can make that by simply calling the general number 507-537-6760. With that, I, I will come back with a few other announcements of, of some events, some activities uh, that have been altered. But before I, we do that, Dr. Meister, if you want to give us an update. Thank you very much, Mayor Burns. So. The, I wish I could be the bearer of good news, uh, certainly better than I'm going to bear. Uh, COVID-19 is here. It's here probably uh, more significantly than it was in the early year, um, back in January, February, March, uh, and the early summer. We are now at a point where hospitals are becoming full, and it's not just in Marshall. It's not just in Sioux Falls. It is the entire upper Midwest. Wisconsin is critical. Um, South Dakota is critical. Uh, Iowa is getting critical. Um, there's just not that many uh, ICU beds left in the state. Um, and so we are at the point where we're shifting patients back and forth to um, get the patients where they need their levels of care. Uh, some hospitals are modifying their surgery schedules again. Um, we are doing uh, one surgery a day for elective surgeries and that's not ideal, but unfortunately with the numbers of sick people coming in with COVID, we don't have an option. We don't. We need our beds for those who are acutely ill. And so, even though um, some of the surgeries uh, for knees and hips, people have been waiting for for a long time. And historically, this is our busiest time of year for those kind of procedures. We're having to slow way down on that again to accommodate for acutely ill people with COVID. And remember that other acute illnesses still are happening. Um, so how do we present, prevent this? How, what's the good news? The good news is a couple of things. Number one, we have learned a lot about this disease. We still don't know everything, but we are making some headways. There's some treatments now that we can use that have been shown to help uh, decrease the death rate. Um, not to zero, certainly not prevent the death rate, but we are making headways on that. Um, the vaccine, people have heard on the media that the vaccine is near. Um, I'm hopefully optimistic that we will have that uh, in the early phases by early 2021. Um, there are a couple of companies that are going through phase three trials right now and once they get authorization and uh, the notch of approval from the Fed, uh, Food and Drug Administration, those will start rolling out. Um, how do we prevent this? Well, you see Mayor Burns and I, we have our masks on. You know, there's been a lot of skepticism about masks. Masks work. If I have COVID right now, the likelihood of Mayor Burns or our two camera um, crew uh, getting this disease is minimal because we are all more than six feet. We're not gonna be here for more than 15 minutes. And my respiratory exhalation is caught by my mask. So wear your mask, please. Wash your hands. Um, as hard as it is during the holiday season, the recommendation from all the medical experts, the governor, our governor, other governors is to, and the CDC is to minimize your family gatherings to your immediate family only. And that's really hard. 
That's not what we like to hear, but this is a serious disease. Again, some people will have no symptoms. Some people will end up intubated in the ICU, and unfortunately, some people will die from this. And we don't want that. We want to minimize it. So, you know, nobody's going to put you in shackles and throw you in the clink if you uh, go visit people, but think about it. Think about the consequences and just use good judgment. Take care of yourselves, exercise, eat well, um, wash your hands, uh, cover your cough, stay home if you're ill. Um, have grace and compassion because everybody's got COVID fatigue. Everybody's sick of having to wear the mask. Everybody's sick of having to stay socially distanced. But this is the way we're gonna have to be for the next probably six to 12 months. Um, so we need to give each other grace, compassion, and patience. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Mayor Burns. Well, thank you, Steve. Um, I'm gonna to refer to some notes on a, a number of announcements of things, uh, events that have changed. Uh, first off, behind the wheel instructions is paused through November 30th. Adult basketball and volleyball leagues are paused till January 1st. Uh, the adult community center or the senior center, the in-person activities are paused through November 30th, but Meals on Wheels uh, will still be uh, provided home delivery as well as curbside service and then the adult basic education offices and classes uh, which is actually located at SMSU that is closed until further notice so again if people uh, uh, need to come to the city offices please call ahead 537-6760 and of course if you have emergencies either contact the Avera number or the uh, uh, Marshall Public Safety Department once again thank you be safe